This is a fashion show like no other. All the outfits on the runway were not just created by human designers, artificial intelligence played a role. The creative process was supported by an AI system called Ada that was developed in Hong Kong. Ada is short for AI-based interactive design assistant for fashion. On the left-hand side, all of this, you know, are those images uploaded by the designers, including, you know, the abstract images, um, the theme uh, for upcoming season, the fabric print, and also the colors. The last one is certainly, you know, the drawing sketches. And then based on these um, uploaded images, the designers just need to click design and then the system can output um, each time each outfit within 10 seconds. We are not talking about uh, using AI to replace them. Instead, we do hope that designers can work with AI to facilitate and spark their inspiration, such that um, they can make use of AI to serve it as an assistant to speed up the whole design process. Wong says existing software-assisted fashion design and AI image generation technology offer little as far as identifying the creative input of a designer. Ada addresses this shortcoming by allowing the machine to learn from the patterns designers can upload directly. So Ada will mix and match and provide some other lines and other silhouettes to you so that you can choose uh, something out of the box or something related to your collection and something that may be uh, new to you. So it's a process of co-working with Ada instead of just one direction. Mountain Yam is among the Hong Kong designers who collaborated with the Ada team to present his collection in the Fashion Cross AI show at M Plus Museum in December. For, for this outfit, we started with some ruffles, we started with some drape of the skirts, but at the end, maybe the proportion of what we started is not the same as now. But Ada proposed this option, and I think this option may be the best, so that, that's why we selected it. It's actually um, a friend that could give you some other designs, proposal out of your comfort zone. Each moon board has their concept, right? And the motion a designer wants to express. So we need to recognize these styles to find the feeling is the same uh, sketches or generate the sketches that share the same fillers. That is achieved by using computer vision to identify the fashion elements in the images fed to the system. First off, the AI model needs to be able to find and detect the location of shapes among the pixels of the image. Then the algorithm must be trained to recognize the shapes of an object. This part is similar to teaching a human infant the difference between a pair of trousers and a dress. Finally, when the AI model has a large enough set of images, it can start generating images of new designs. While the algorithm output is impressive, designers still must use their skills to choose sketches and finalize what is produced. That's why software developers and fashion designers agree that AI programs are not likely to replace humans anytime soon. At the end, a designer's job is to uh, solve problems. So we have to understand many other factors which may affect your final selection. And ADAS gives you options, but it doesn't really give you the final decision. So it's a process of working together with AI instead of being replaced by AI. I think it's a win-win situation.